Come by. So she's going to go round up the sheep now? Is that what she... She's bringing... Yeah, we'll bring some of the lambs. Oh. Kai, lie down. You, lie down. Look behind. Lie down. You lie down. Oh wee! They're walking on the sheep again. They're walking on the sheep again. <coughs> Walk up. What are they saying? Walk up. Walk up, Rudy. Walk up. The um, suffix don't move as well. They're heavier sheep, so they don't they don't hurt as well. They don't herd up like the the hair sheep do. So a lot of times we'll use the hair sheep for for training them. Uh, no. Because they they can just no. take a lot more. Walk up. No. Oh we go. Lie down. We've got a young ram lamb out here to breed the Katahdin plus the little ewe lamb. And the reason we were going to try that is for, I think hair sheep are a little bit more slower maturing and growing. So we're going to try and put a little length and growth to these hair sheep and uh, see what we get. Um, I've seen some people raise the cross and you can't even tell they've got the hair sheep in them. So um, it'll help, you know, bring out the length in them, give them maybe a little bit more leg, um, maybe a little bit more faster growing and mature a little faster is, is kind of what we're looking for. So this will be our first time breeding them that way because we've always just bred to a, a Katahdin or a Dorper ram. Um, and that's what oh. some of these lambs are, or Dorper. This is a Suffolk, this is a Suffolk. And she, watch, she'll probably come over and we've got some bummer lambs in here. Do you know what a bummer lamb is? No. It's a baby without a mom. It's Wayne. Is it? Want to go in the barn? I, sure. Come on in the barn. Mm -hmm. Lie down. That will do. Lie down. We need your help? Yeah, we're going to get them to help. Ty, come to me. Come on. Ty. Um, you want... That's what you call an outrun. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up! Walk up! Come by! Right there! Walk up!
Always on the go, ready to go. Back up. Kill him again. Say it louder. <laughs> Every day we wow. Try it one more time. Back up. He doesn't. Okay. She probably doesn't understand your language, <laughs> your accent. <laughs> he understands. Did you notice how? That, I mean, they were staying together pretty well, but still the hair sheep were more on the front in the bunch, um, and the woolies were more behind. Oh, we. And I noticed that the, the, the one wool would always stray, and then she brings yes. them back in. Yep, I'll have them come right to us, bring them. Lie down. You see the difference? This is a full grown ewe, and this is a this year's ewe lamb. Yeah. So we're hoping to get a little bit more. That's it. Walk up. They steal you sometimes. I'll give them the wrong, wrong sides to go. But walk up. Come on. Walk up. Walk up. Come on, T. Walk up. That was good. I'd whistle, but I can't whistle. And I learned to whistle. Come by. Right there. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. I don't. Right there. Walk up. Walk up. I can hear me. Walk up. Are we? Right there. I hear one. one coffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. they will do that. Come to me. Come. Come. Back up. Down. Okay, come on. They're hungry again. He's, he's probably having not as much trouble, but I'm surprised these girls are moving as well as they are because generally they just, just won't. And they're not wanting to really come to us like the hair sheep. We've taught right. you know, them. They come to us because come by. Right there, walk up, come by. A wee. Come by, come by. 